mobile payment space has been evolving and growing, and the latest player to take a stab at the way consumers are paying for their goods is Walmart. So joining us now to explain what this means, Adam Zuckerman, founder of Fosterly. Adam, great to speak with you today. Great to speak with you as well. So we know Walmart Pay will run on the Walmart app on a customer's mobile device. What's the big idea behind this? What will customers get out of using it? And what does Walmart get out of this uh, new having this new product? Yeah, this is an ecosystem play for them. So they're trying to build out and drive customers to their mobile app and create a better purchasing experience for them. They currently have about 22 million people on their app. And if they can get people into their ecosystem to shop through their mobile app to check out faster, everybody wins. What's a savings catcher? The savings catcher is if you go to Walmart and you purchase something, you can take a picture of your receipt, and if they find a difference in price against the competing uh, retailers, they'll give you a balance back in an e-gift card. And what's interesting is they're tying this back to the, the Walmart Pay app in the sense that you can redeem those savings catcher savings via the app as well. And where do Apple Pay and Android Pay fit into this scenario? Would they be competitors to Walmart's new product, or is this a plan to eventually integrate? Yeah, well, that's, that's a question, and it depends how you look at it. On the one hand, it's a competitor in the sense that Apple Pay is out there, Samsung Pay is out there, but it's not yet accepted at Walmart. However, they're building the app out in a methodology that they can integrate future payment systems into the app itself, so later on we could see a convergence where they come back. Okay, and so far we've seen Starbucks have seen, gotten the payment system down correctly. It's been very successful there. How do Walmart's plan stack up against what Starbucks has accomplished? Are these, is this similar? Yeah, well, Starbucks is killing it, to be honest. They've got 21% of their sales on their mobile device. Their, their mobile user base is up 28% uh, from last year as of November this year. But they've got a little bit of a different model in the sense that you can prepay onto the, the Starbucks app, and also you accumulate rewards as you go along. On, on the other side, Walmart has a much bigger base. 90% of all Americans live within 15 minutes of a Walmart, so they could get far more traction on their app, but the question is, is this really going to drive people to shop at Walmart? And that's up for debate. And the reason why is you get rewards on the one hand over at Starbucks, and this is really just a way to, to pay for your payments and pay for your merchandise at, at Walmart. Yeah, well thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.